Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Pumpkin's Tech Blog. Today's video is about installing Android app in Windows 11 PC. Let's quickly check what we need to make it happen. First of all, we need Windows subsystem for Android. This helps in creating a virtual Android environment within your Windows OS. Next in the list, we require an APK installer, though it's not mandatory, but it makes easy to install APK files. At last, we need a .apk file, of course. It can be any Android app that you want to install in your PC. I have already downloaded one that we will be using at the end of this video. So let's keep going. We will start by installing Windows Subsystem for Android. The process is not straightforward, so don't skip the video to properly install it in your Windows 11 PC. At the end of this first part, once you finish the installation of WSA, you will see something like this in your apps. There are two ways of installing WSA on your PC. First one is simple. You just need to go to the Microsoft Store and search for Windows Subsystem for Android. If it shows up in the store, then you can directly install it from there. Most probably it won't. That's why we are going to follow a different method. For the second method, we are going to follow a blog post on GitHub. I will provide the link to this post in the description below. Basically, in this post, it shows an alternate way to download WSA installer file manually. So let's follow the steps in this post one by one. For WSA installation, there are some prerequisites. like obviously, you need to have a Windows 11 PC. Next, you need to enable Hyper-V feature. You can read more about Hyper-V in this post. Depending on your Windows 11 edition, like Home Basic Pro or Education, you might need to follow different steps. But don't worry, we will see both right here. According to this post to install WC successfully in Windows, we need to enable some of the existing features. You can do so by simply going to the start menu and searching for turn Windows features on and off. You can see a built-in utility that lets you enable Windows features easily. There are three main features, Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Hypervisor Platform that we need to enable before installing WSA in Windows. Let's enable the mentioned features by going to the utility again, scrolling down to Virtual Machine Platform and clicking on the checkbox next to it. Similarly, go to Windows Hypervisor Platform and enable it. I can't find the Hyper-V feature in this list because I am on the Windows 11 Home Edition. It might be visible on your Windows Edition. If so, then enable it in a similar way. For those having Windows 11 Home Edition, there are two possibilities. Either Hyper-Vip is already enabled or you need to enable it through the command prompt. We will check it in the next steps. There is another link with the steps to enable Hyper-V in Windows 11 Home Edition. Let's jump to it. This link has step-by-step -step process. But before that, I will check in my laptop if it is already enabled or not. To check if Hyper-V is already enabled or not, let's head over to command prompt from the start menu. Once you are in CMD, just type system info to load your PC configuration. It might take a few seconds. Once it's loaded, scroll down to the very bottom and look for the section called Hyper-V requirements. If it says a Hyper-V has been detected, then it means your Windows 11 Home Edition comes with Hyper-V enabled by default. If not, then you can proceed with the steps in this link to enable it. Since in my Windows OS, it's already enabled and for the sake of saving time, I will proceed further in the process of installing Windows Subsystem for Android. Let's click on this link right here to go to the repository of installer files. On the destination page, you will see a link generator for the Microsoft Store. To get the installer of WSA, we need to enter the product ID given in the blog post. So, let's copy it from there. On the generator page, change the drop down from URL link to product ID and paste your product ID into the input box. From the drop down showing RP, please change it to slow and then finally click on the check mark button next to it. It 
will load all the supported installer files for that product ID. For now, we are just concerned about Windows subsystems for Android. Let's find out the installer file for that. You need to scroll down a bit and right here you will find all the different versions of WC listed. You can choose the latest one or any one of the installer bundles. Make sure that you download the MSI bundle only. For now I will choose the first one to download. The file size of SAW is approximately 1.4 GB. To start the download, you need to right click on the link and choose save link as from the context menu. Then choose the file location to save the installer. Please keep in mind that Google Chrome may show that the file is harmful to download. To fix it, you just need to click on keep and then click on the download in secure file button. Don't worry, this file is completely safe as I've been using WSA for two years. Google Chrome generally mark most installer as harmful if it cannot find valid source of it. I am going to speed up the video to save time until this download gets completed. I will just browse the article to make sure everything going the right way. Now the file is downloaded and we can proceed to installation. For this, you need to go to the file location and right click on the file to copy the path to the file. We will use this path in PowerShell shortly. You need to open PowerShell with administrator permission. To do that, you need to go to the start menu, search for Windows PowerShell and then right click on it and choose run as administrator. Once you are in PowerShell, type the command add apix package, then paste the file path that you copied earlier. After you paste the file path, all you need to do is press enter and it will automatically install Windows subsystem for Android on your PC. Since I already have the latest version of Fusa installed, it will give me an error message. But for those who are installing it for the first time, it will take a few minutes to complete the installation and then you can close the PowerShell. If you don't want to use PowerShell, you can also simply open the MSI bundle by right clicking on the downloaded file and then clicking open. As you can see, it prompts me to either launch or reinstall the WUSA. For this demo, I am going to choose reinstall. It will take a few seconds to reinstall and you are done. You can launch that by clicking the launch button. In the second part of this video, we will install an Android app with the help of an app installer. Let's head over to the Microsoft Store again and search for App Installer. You will find a lot of app installers available. Any of them will work. So I will just install the first one. After installation, you will see an open button like this to launch the app. Next steps are pretty straightforward. You just need to select an app file you have downloaded before. Since we are doing it for the first time, it might ask you to authorize ADB debugging permission. Just click on allow and check the box to remember this choice so it won't ask every time. Once you've done that, the install button will get enabled. Click on it to begin the installation. It will take few seconds to complete. You can easily install any other app you like by just downloading the APK file online. I have chosen the Photos Leader app for this demo. After installation, you can launch this app like any other Windows app in your PC. Running an Android app in Windows PC has a lot of benefits. Like you can get a bigger screen size with better quality, you can utilize your PC's processing power and you can play high-end games. The possibilities are endless. If you are still with me, then thanks for sticking around till the end of this video. I am sure you are excited to try your favorite Android apps on PC. Let me know in the comments below which app you are going to try first. If you found this video helpful, please encourage me by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. I will rest my voice here and will surely see you in the next video.